everyone, I'm Laura, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to show you how I make my kids balloon hoops for their birthdays. I seem to do this every year now and they just absolutely love it and they get excited over which colours they're going to choose and it's my daughter's birthday at the weekend so I want to make it really special and she's chosen the colours that she wants so we're going to show you how we do it. So first of all I'm going to start to assemble the balloon hoop. I purchased this off of Timu back in October and it's so so easy to use. Now before I did purchase this I was attaching the balloon, I was making like a balloon arch and I was attaching that to the wall. Um, and I used to use command strips but it didn't matter what I used, eventually it would always pull the paint off. So I got a little bit fed up of that and I thought I, you know, I need to look for something else and this is what I found and it is amazing. So I ordered two balloon kits and they come with different sizes and you get the glue dots that you need and also the balloon tape to attach them all together. So Winnie's just got the balloon pump out. Now this is something you will need because I'm really not sure you'd be able to blow up all the balloons that you're going to need by mouth. That would take a lot of doing. Um, this was from Amazon and it was around £10 and it's so easy to use. So I ordered two packs of balloon kits, one was from Timu, which are the pastel purple ones that you see, um, but I was a bit worried when they arrived that there wasn't going to be much variety in the shape and the style and the size etc. So I purchased a smaller balloon kit from eBay as like a panic buy um, and that had around 50 balloons in it so I'm just trying to show you some of the different balloons that you get in the pack. So here my daughter and my husband are blowing up the balloons. It's not anything I like to do because they scare me in case they pop. <laughs> so I've got them doing that and actually my daughter loved blowing up the balloons using the, um, the pump. So that was helpful. So we're just gonna get a few blown up first of all and then I'm gonna attach them to the tape. So now I'm just attaching the balloons to the tape and what I tend to do, there is holes in the tape so I attach them um, through sort of the neck of the balloon and I pull them in from one end and then I will alternate the next one and feed it in from the other end just to sort of fill it out. There are a couple of other videos on my channel where I've made balloon arches so if you want to check those out I can link those down below for you. So I did film a time lapse uh, which I'm going to insert here as it may be useful for you.
it's blown up now and we've got some left over that I'll just keep a spare just in case we burst any before my daughter's party they're quite handy to have. So this is a bit where it's a little bit late and everyone's getting a little bit silly but it did make me laugh so I thought I would leave it in. So you have to do the balloon hoop twirl once you've got all the balloons on. That is just the way that it is. So now we're actually ready to hang the balloons onto the hoop and first of all we're just going to find the middle um, and drape it over um, and then we're just going to twist it around the hoop and make it nice and secure. Usually you don't need anything to attach it to, it will just if you twist it it will just actually stay. Um, and then fill in any gaps if you need to using extra balloons and some glue dots that you've got. That we are pretty much done it usually takes us between an hour and a half and two hours to do but it's so worth it and also if you do your own hoops at home please tag me in them over on instagram i would love to see them thanks ever so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please give it a big like and consider subscribing as i would love to have you stick around and i'll see you in my next one